Pro FXB. There's uh, lots of competitions today, RTTY competitions. Now, I never use RTTY, um, but I have got a 705 which decodes RTTY. So, as you can see now, I'm receiving this information on my RTTY decode. Uh, so, it was still quite fascinating. So, I'll just show you how I got it to do that. So, the first thing you do is go to go roughly to these sort of frequencies here. Well, I'm in the UK, by the way. Then um, hit your, um, you know, your mode and go to RTTY. Now make sure it's RTTY, not RTTYR, because that's what I've done. Uh, the filter by default went to two, so I haven't touched that. So then what I've also done is up here, see where my the last two digits. If you hold your finger on that, like so, see the way it says 55? Well, if I hold it again, it goes to 55.9, so you get more fine tuning. Now, I'm still trying to work out how to use this auto tune button, whether that can be used on RTTY, that's here, or that, whether that's just for CW. So, you can hear the, the, the noise. That's what it sounds like. So now looking over here on the right, you can see that what I'm tuning to is two yellow lines. You can change the lines. You can change all the settings in RTTY by holding your finger down on here on the X set button. And then you get all these different settings. Now I haven't changed anything. Um, so there you go. Because as I said, I don't use RTTY. I know there is a big log as well. I haven't really used the log. So, but I tuned to the two lines, and if you copy my settings, you'll be able to at least decode. Trying to tune in there. Um, just trying to think if there's anything else. With the TX side, at the moment, if, if I tap it, You've got eight memories. Now you can edit them by hitting edit here. And I've just put M0FXB QSL73. But saying that, I don't even know if that's correct. I've just put that in so I recognize when it transmits. And the thing is, I've got a high SWR here anyway. Um, but if you wanted to, you just hit that and it does transmit. And I, I've seen it do that. So I think, you know, it's quite cool looking and... You're basically seeing, I see the word test quite often, so I don't know why, so tell me why. I'm seeing different call signs. Looks like 5-9. Not sure what the 122 two means, maybe that's the contest number. So I'm not really sure what you send. when you Say I wanted to make a contact with that station, what would I put? So I, I think I'll just watch and see. I just thought I'd do this. Um, looks very cool on the uh, on the 705. Got the cage on here. I'll just let it run for a couple of minutes. Let you get an idea of what I'm receiving and what I should be transmitting and what message I should be transmitting. Um, and then one day I'll I'll connect it to the my antenna tuner and uh, see if we can make a couple of contacts. Why not? And it's interesting to see that we can probably do this without using a computer. Um, be nice if it also did FT8, but it doesn't. So, uh, yeah, see what you think. It could be, so you put in your call sign, then your signal report, and then I think your contest number. I think. 
A lot of them are using the word test. So I'm not sure, I'd like someone message me, tell me why they're using the word test. And CQL. I'm sure there's a whole science to this. See, that one's gone one, two, four, one, two, four. So what I could do is I could, I'm just thinking out loud. I could um, go text, I could edit one of these. So go to this edit. And what I'll do, I'll go to number two. And I'll clear it. Now I'm guessing now. And I'll put M zero F X B uh, five nine nine space one two five is it? Do I put anything after that? Uh, let's have a look. We'll go back and look. 